So off camera, Joanne and I were talking about the cost and cleaning. Like she didn't want to, it didn't really matter to you that you didn't break the bank because you were like, eh, if it doesn't work out. How, tell me what you were thinking about that because that was really... The cost was definitely an issue for us. I didn't want to spend a lot of money on it. There's a lot of pressure when you spend that much money. It feels more like a marriage than dating. <laughs> and so... Yes. Plus, some of the more high-end finishes require a lot more care. So yeah. I would be nervous about, what if I drop something on it? What if I set something hot on it? What if I don't clean it with the right thing? Sure. All those things were a factor. But I also don't think that you should sacrifice design for price. Sure. I wasn't going to just throw our money away on something I didn't like. So I, you should wait till you can afford what you like within reason. So that's another tip too. I like that. I think that's a great tip. So, so the way I clean mine is my own handmade <laughs> cleaner. That's the other thing. Um, Here we go. Yeah, it's inexpensive. I never run out of it because I have the ingredients <laughs> and I use it to clean my floors. I use it to clean my countertops and uh, it's just easy peasy. And I'm gonna show you some close-ups of this and obviously I'll show them while you're doing it. She uses this on a daily basis, yep. I'm assuming. Yeah. And just a rag. Yep, I just have a dish rag. I use it on my stove. I use it on everything in here pretty much. And the shine is still here after nine years, so there is no like rubbing off of the shine or the, the top layer of what they, whatever they do for laminate. Another really great thing about the laminate that she chose is the pattern, does it hide like if it is dirty? It does. Um, if you look at it from the side, you might see a little smudge of something. Okay. But it, it's good at concealing dirt, which is also a bonus. And I don't see any streaks. Like yeah. sometimes with the dark, remember when we talked with Terry, Terry said she would never buy dark granite again, that she liked her light granite better. So I was kind of curious of what you were thinking about that. And I can't see any streaks at all. So do you ever? No, there's nothing like that. I think the, the pattern is right and the sheen is right there. I know what you're talking about. Never. Yeah. Yeah. And what I think is interesting is that there is a little bit of texture to the laminate mm -hmm. to make it feel like granite mm -hmm. to some extent. Um, and you don't notice anything getting in there and you have to kind of... No. Okay. No. And this girl would know because she's a baker. I've already said that before. <laughs> so you know that these countertops have seen dough straight yes. on them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. So um, I, it's a really great... Uh, you know, use your own product, and we will do a link below to how you can make your own cleaner mm -hmm. uh, because we each have a little tweak to the recipe, but it's a great recipe. Okay. And obviously, cleaning well with this kitchen.